Hi, this is John Regan, and I am demoing the Solid Backups file restore process that we've recently updated. So we, we had an issue um, that draw, that brought this to our attention where the the site was not, um, or the, the plugin was not restoring files correctly. And there were several reasons. The, one of them that you may have heard about was there was a block on it to help prevent server load, uh, server overload, and it actually ended up um, blocking it to only 500 files, restraining it to 500 files, and the uh, users weren't notified of that. So we removed that, and instead we've implemented two things to really help, significantly help, the uh, server load and make this much more stable and much more usable <laughs> for clients and our customers. So the um, there's two big changes that we've made. The first one is, is in how the files are restored. So what we had been doing was if there's a file to be restored, a copy was made of it, the new one was brought in, and then this one would be deleted, and this one would be renamed. And it was just a lot of writing to the servers, and um, again, that increases the server load. Uh, second thing that we've done is sort of with that, that 500 uh, file restriction, what they were trying to do was, um, uh, you know, it stopped restoring a whole bunch of stuff at once. However, plugins like WooCommerce, for instance, have over 6,000 files, and so you weren't able to restore something like that. Um, so in order to do that, uh, what we've done is with that restore process I just talked about where they're like copying and renaming is what we're actually doing is if you have the original file, it'll delete it and then put the restored file in place. And so it's much simpler. Um, it, as part of that, one of the things we have to do is make sure that we're not deleting WordPress core files and that if we're working on plugins that are activated, we want to deactivate them, replace them, and then reactivate it to make sure there's no uh, unintended consequences on the, um, the customer's website. The other thing that we're doing is we are batching the file move jobs. So instead of either eliminating it to 500 or just moving everything all at once, we're using uh, what's called action scheduler that actually calculates what the server can handle and it will move as much as it can um, and then it just waits just for a moment and then sometimes up to a minute, but up to a minute max, and then it will restart moving some more again. So you will be able to see a little bit of that in action here. Okay, so let's get down to business, the fun stuff. That's enough talking. All right, so here on the left, you see we have, um, of course, the solid backups plug in the restore backup screen. Um, also on this tab is our scheduled actions. This will show us where... Um, as things are moving, moving along, you'll see them here. If you're looking for this yourself, it's under Tools and uh, Scheduled Actions. And this is uh, something outside of um, outside of Solid Backups, but it's used actually by several different plugins. It's not a separate plugin. It's sort of a, a tool set. For instance, Woo WooCommerce will take advantage of this, and you can see this right here, that WooCommerce is actually using this as well. So. What we'll do is, uh, okay, so here's the logs. That's going to be the center column. And then you can see this over here on the right. This is just so you can see files that are actually moving around. And so let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do here is we're going to restore files, and we're going to restore some plugins. Let's restore the Kismet um, and Google Site Kit and the Classic Editor debug bar, and simple custom CSS. Now, some of these you can see over here on the right, they already exist, debug bar and site kit custom CSS. So I'm gonna delete a couple of these, and um, you'll see that those actually get restored. So I'm going to hit, let's see here. Just making sure these are all refreshed and ready to go. We're gonna restore these five folders. And that's our warning to let us know things are about ready to change. So then we're going to go ahead and start the restore process. So remember I said this can wait up to a minute. We've got 10 more seconds before this kicks off. And it'll start processing the restore queue. There we go. Now it's running. So what it's doing here is this is it's unzipping the... Uh, backup zip file that we had it's only unzipping the things that we need so it's not taking a full um, you know 10 20,000 file um, 
back up and restoring every little thing. It's just uh, cherry picking those things. Down here at the bottom, you can see my uh, IDE is indexing these new files so that little flashing there lets you know that things are being moved around. And if I remember right, Google Site Kit um, has quite a few files in it. Okay, so the zip files are extracted. It's gonna verify, yep, that everything that's supposed to be there is there. And then it's setting the permissions so we can start moving things. And this should come pretty quick. So what will happen here is uh, you'll start seeing, okay, so it went through and it deactivated some plugins that were, um, that were activated and it's restoring the files. You can see already debug bar, site kit are already there. Simple custom CSS will probably be coming in the next batch. You can see these are, um, it's completing these jobs and files are restored successfully right there. And it's going to be cleaning up now because it's not just always files that are being restored. So it's double checking, hey, there's confetti. It's been restored successfully. So that was it. It was that fast. And you can see here that these have been reactivated. So there you go. That's the, uh, the new backup process. And I'll let you know, it can take possibly a little bit longer than that, especially if you're working with tons of plug plugins or a whole website with themes and everything. So this was just a quick look. Um, yeah. So thanks a lot. Um, this has been John Regan. Thank you for tuning in to Solid Backups.